As part of our Hunger Hits Home Initiative, we're talking today with the folks at San Francisco's Glide Foundation. So welcoming back to the show this afternoon is Karen Hanrahan, president and CEO of the Social Justice Organization. Karen, always a pleasure to see you. Uh, we all know the need for emergency food has really exploded since the beginning of the pandemic last March. What are you seeing in terms of demand there at Glide? The demand has really gone through the roof. Um, even before the pandemic hit, one in four San Francisco's struggled to feed themselves. We're now seeing um, that number double directly in our lines. We're seeing more uh, of all walks of life. We're seeing more young families. We're seeing more elderly. Um, in particular, we're, we're seeing even more people of color because as you know, um, so, Food insecurity is a social justice issue. So it's uh, fortunate that we've been able to really step up uh, and, and meet that demand. Yeah, so talk about some of the ways that you have, have sort of shifted or expanded resources and services to, to meet the growing demand. So we've been able to, since the pandemic started, we've really had to adapt and adapt quickly. We've been on the front lines um, serving over 25,000 meals a week, not only in the Tenderloin, but also increasingly throughout the city in neighborhoods around the city as the, the landscape of need has really expanded. Um, we've uh, fed um, thousands of individuals. And, you know, these are people that are living um, sometimes on the streets, sometimes in shelters, but increasingly they're people who um, aren't always so visible. They might be your neighbors. They might be a family down the street. They're people who are now having to make choices of whether to pay their rent or whether to feed themselves, um, including um, uh, thousands more children since the, the pandemic has hit are, have fallen into food insecurity. Yeah, Karen, we, we've talked with a number of people who said, you know what, before this pandemic, I, I never never needed a f food bank, but I certainly do now. I want to talk a little bit, if I can, about the work that you're doing to not only help those in the marginalized uh, parts of our communities with getting them fed, but also with efforts to increase coronavirus testing. Talk a little bit about the partnership there with the city. Sure. We've been working with the city um, since early in the pandemic. Um, to be a testing site. We're the key testing site for the city in the Tenderloin. And what we're finding is that people from around the city, neighborhoods all over, are coming to Glide to get tested, in part because Glide is a trusted, um, it's a trusted organization. We have strong relationships with people um, and, uh, and people feel comfortable coming. They, they, they trust us and, and our ability to do that. Um, so we're now uh, talking with the city about assisting with vaccines for similar reason. Um, neighborhoods throughout the city, particularly poor neighborhoods, particularly with people of color, there is a, a, a lack of trust in traditional, um, sometimes traditional vaccine methods, processes, vaccines themselves. Um, so we're working very closely with the city to make sure people who are homeless, marginalized, um, living in hard to reach places are getting vaccinated as they need it. Well, Karen, we really appreciate all of the hard work of everyone there at Glide, really meeting people with so many services and, and what they need right now. So again, thank you for coming on. And if folks at home would like to help out Glide, would like to tell you how you can do that, uh, you can just go to our website, ktv.com slash hunger hits home, if you'd like to make a donation. And you will also find a series of reports and interviews on this issue as well. Again, that's ktv.com slash hunger hits home.